Let's see. Let's do season two championship for a bit. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do my OG skin for one game, Battle Bunny. Beauty. Beautiful skin. Crimson best skin. Yuck. Makes me wanna makes me wanna vomit that one. I don't know, I don't like that one man. Disgusting. Anyway, I'll be right back. Don't say you about my crimson elite, you fuck. Hey man, I'll say whatever I goddamn want about that skin. You know why? Because I've used it before and I feel ashamed. Victor top lane. Wonder why he's playing it. Didn't he get nerfed pretty hard? Actually, okay, Zillion's a good pick for this comp. <laughs> uh, might be a remake if he doesn't uh, get his shit going. Max W second versus Victor, you can if you're just snowballing like crazy, but I mean, you might not need it. I shouldn't have done that, I shouldn't have, fl I shouldn't have flashed after that. My bad. Did he flash there, chat? I'm gonna use you for cheese real quick. Did he flash? Yes, he did. Okay, thank you, chat.
go and check if he's doing it. I mean, yeah, boy. The block needs to come way past. Wait, 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 you hit it. Why did you back? This is why I don't work with teammates, dude. At this level of play, even to Diamond 1 to Masters, I don't work with teammates, and this is why. Working with teammates is a recipe for disaster. God. I'm so glad at least she died. Holy shit, that would have been really bad if she didn't die. But yeah, man. But yeah, man. Working with teammates, man. Sometimes it, it that, that's like my main thing, man. Don't work with teammates until like Challenger. Even in Challenger, sometimes you're not supposed to work with your teammates. Working with teammates is like a pro play thing, or like actually when you're playing with a team. Okay, well, the next time I try to go for a trade with him, he's gonna come back with some armor. I, I just wanna be able to do two trades where he fucks up his positioning, and then I should be able to turn it around. I mean, I'm doing fine right now, but I can be, I could be doing much better. I'm actually kind of glad I picked Riven. Mid's getting shafted, and bot's getting shafted, and I'm not massively fed. But I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna go like a full lethality build this game to be able to actually get a chance to win this one. Because since since everyone is losing incredibly hard, and now the thing that might keep me from winning this game is if my team suddenly decides that they don't want to play the game anymore. That could fuck me up. So basically, the one thing that might, that will keep us in this game now, and it's kind of RNG, is if, the, if their mental is good enough to stay in the game without going AFK, we can win. If their mental is bad enough and they, they just leave the game, then that's, you know, not much you can do. Nella88, thanks for the prime. I'm gonna go Essence Reaver into Lethality. Uh, the E is super massively tilted too. At least they got the shutdown on that. Oh, I wanted to get out of the W range so I could... God damn it. That makes me a little sad. It's okay, I should be able to kill with Flash coming up with a double cast. Hopefully. Yep, it's fine. I'll leave it like that. I'm gonna go back now. Alright, let me get a BF sword. Hmm. We'll see. This game's gonna be hard, for sure. The Vayne is going to be the main thing, but the problem with her is that since they have a team comp that has Kindred and can ulti, 
as I flash in to try to kill this guy, I have to kill them in the same rotation through my stun. That's why the full lethality is kind of like a must this game for me. The second he fucks up his clicking a little bit, just to like walk forward, that's when I'm supposed to go in. Short trade, next time I get him he should die. Okay, he's gonna, he's gonna TP, he should TP back, right? If he has it. Yeah, there it is. Do I get it? One more? No. Fuck. Close. I have ulti. He should come and fight with me. Relax with the pings, my bud. Right, it's, a, it's a solo game. Imagine I'm not your teammate, you. <laughs> I need 30 more gold for my SN3, bro. Flash. Okay, let's get this play and get out. I'll leave the wave. Should I push one more? I'll push one more wave. Okay, let's get out. Nice, I got the shutdown on Vayne, that's really really good, 800 gold, nice. I would have liked to be the one to get that, but it's fine. Now I need to start going Dustblade into Edge of Night, etc, just full damage, Last Whisper. I'm gonna go through the mid lane so I can just catch the Kindred if she's going for it. Just actually being super annoying. Just back up. At least we I protected his walls from him. You always go to CDR boots. I went to Tabby at an earlier game, Tabby Death Dance. But again, it depends on it depends on the match. Really. Are they swapping both of them or only one? Because they haven't taken tower yet. They're swapping both. Okay. You can 2v2 still. Me and Zilla can kill them. As long as Zilla ults me. Perfect. That guy should be getting caught too, really soon. Oh, come on. Fuck! I didn't get the auto, I wasn't close enough in range. Is he able to get him? No, he's not. He has no mana. Just run. Run, buddy. That was, a big, that was a bad misplay for me. I guess he got him, but I gave him my gold. I, I mean, at least I gave the gold to Volkaz instead of the Yi. I mean, not the Yi, the, the, uh, the Bane, but holy shit. 
That's annoying. We just run, 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 buddy. They might, they might both end up dead here because he, because he is so tilted. I'm not tilted. You know what? I'm not even gonna say tilted. He's just not very. Uh, what do you call it? He doesn't know his limits. Dies a lot. Which I mean, I guess it's good. He's learning his limits. <laughs> But it's not going too hot for him. Are they swapping back lanes? Positive stream. At least, at least you got chat. You know what I mean. You, you, you guys know exactly what I want to say. If he walks up near me, I can third Q him and kill him. Okay. Get this tower out of the way, this is really good. Sucks that I don't get the uh, extra play because it literally just turned out or like it just shut down. So yeah, let me go back, get my dust blade. Now I'm actually feeling really strong and I can deal with the bane no problem. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna just keep going lethality this game though. Pure damage for sure. My music stopped. Let me tab out real quick. Yes, it did. Wait, game? Okay, holy shit. It took a while to tab back in. Go back top lane, catch this farm. I don't really want to go for anything else right now. Okay. Nice. Well, I didn't think the Kindred would be right there when I did that. I guess I'll stay for a little while longer. Please let me go back, team. Okay, what do I get? Uh, do we have any armor? They do have... Uh, this guy started to build some armor, but... Let's just do this, fuck it. I won't have to worry about it anymore. I'll go GA next. GA and... Uh, maybe a TMA Hydra. We'll see. That's good for now. Gets a lot more armor pin than one lethality item. Is there a reason you play full, you like full screen league? Because my frames and everything are much better and it feels smoother when I play in full screen. Thank you. Appreciate that. This isn't warded. Because my dust plate would tell me if it was. Okay. 
Yep. A full lethality. I mean, technically, this is full lethality. Two lethal. Uh, well, kind of. I guess not. I guess I have the two AD items, but what do you call it? Just, it's a pure armor pen build. Like, rem remember, lethality is basically armor, like a fake version of armor pen. You know. So t technically, it can be classified as that. Just I guess full armor pen. I don't really have any macro thing happening right now. Dragon's coming up in 54, there's no objective to go for, so I can either keep going top lane or just, you know, keep just pressuring around the map. That's what I'm doing with my lead right now. I can get my Edge of Night soon, I think, right? 3k? 200 more gold. Smeeze, this is Prime. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Thank you for the heal. I don't think I needed it though. Do you have any health or life steal? Yeah, I don't. You don't need it if you played Riven correctly. This it, this was the way you played Riven back in the day. I mean, you did have it. You did have a Hydra. I guess if you wanted to finish it, but this was the way to play Riven back in the day, and I fucking love it. So, and that's the way I know how to play best. So, I I, I know I love playing Riven as like a damage assassin that can initiate fights and do everything. It's so nice. Stun never came out. I'm actually gonna sad. Why is Essence Reaver good? Seems like a lot of wasted gold on mana plus mana passive. What makes it better than lethality first? The ability to get 20% CDR right away with a bunch of AD. And the active the active uh, cooldown reduction that you get after. But every time you auto, it's one of the main reasons I use it. The main reason you use it, that's why you see champions like Renekton and all these other champions that have, uh, that don't have mana, use it, so. Renekton is one of the main ones too. Just use his W, get all your cooldowns back. What MMR is this chat, by the way? Is this a uh, platinum or like plat three, plat four? What is it? Mm. 
plat three. So it's almost diamond. Okay. Got it. Mid low plat. Okay. All right. Is he tilted way too well, it was way too tilting to play with. I'm not honoring him. I'm honoring um the zillion. He did good shit. He actually worked off of my plays. Oh Bronze 2? Yes! We're climbing boys. It's happening. Okay, nice damage chart. The Kindred came despite 15 back pins and traded one for one and waited for reset. Victor, I know it's not your fault, buddy. I'm so 